what's up so i am back with another video i know it's been a long time um way too long but i had to basically do some rebranding um i if as you can see i changed my name i needed something that was more um fitting for me more personal to me more relatable more marketable if i'm being honest um, yes, so um, it's no longer Queen Nizzle. That chapter has closed. Um, it is Shay Lachey. Uh, my name is Shaniqua Lachey, so Shay Lachey. It's just like my name. Um, but Anyway, yeah, so I got to do something quick to my hair, something that doesn't require me to sit and let it dry for days. So I'm going to do a wash and go. So what I'm going to do today, Old Faithful Wet Line Extreme. You cannot go wrong with this stuff. I love this stuff. Other than the fact that it's um, it's kind of drying sometimes. Um, yeah, but I mean, for like two, three days. It works. It gets the job done, especially if you have a good heavy um, styler or leave-in up under it. So my styler with this Wet Line Extreme is going to be uh, the main choice. Do it fro the culture accomplished triple layer leave-in conditioner. Um, I got some left in this one, and I got some in this one because I do like this line like a lot. Um, and so I'm gonna use this with the wash and go. This is gonna be a first. For me so this is a new wash and go combination for me and i i can pretty much tell based on my use of this and these not together but just just how they work in my hair i'm i'm pretty certain that it'll turn out good uh, my hair is freshly washed and conditioned um it's a little dry so i am gonna re-wet it but if you watch my other videos you'll see me using i think it's like a it's called like a 360 um mr spray bottle or whatever it ain't been doing a job like i found myself getting frustrated and then like it's not spraying out enough water at a time for me so i went back to just the regular regular um spray bottle so i can get the amount of water i need distributed quickly um yep so this is hot water in this bottle um by the time it comes out it'll be like really hot so no worries there so yeah just get this wash and go popping i'm just basically gonna do um section by section and and shingle you know that's how i get my best results and then i'll um i'll probably like let it air dry for a little bit and then diffuse with my blow dryer maybe i don't know we'll see <laughs> So yeah, I've been using less styling tools. Um, as you can see, I part my hair with my um, with my finger, and I'll probably run the Felicia Leatherwood brush through it um, occasionally. But for the most part, like I already detangled my hair, and I mean, I'm just I'm just trying to stop losing so much hair and shedding hair. Like, yeah, it's been working. Okay, I'll shut up. So, I love, I love this stuff and the way it smells. It's nice and thick. Y'all see that? I'm not gonna apply a hefty amount because I want it to be moisturized. Work it in, work it in. Also, um, don't judge my face right now. I put a little bit of foundation on and it's winter and now I just don't know what color I am because nothing matches. I have like three foundations and none of them match. And I would have gone, you know, naked face today, but having a little breakout situation. So I wanted to kind of cover it up and not look too ugly on camera. Now that I've got the leave-in conditioner in, I am gonna run through it with the Felicia Leatherwood brush just to make sure there are no tangles and this helps with definition. Now 
some wet line. Got a nice little chunk there. Make sure you get it at the root, not the scalp though. Okay, so this this is what it looks like. Um, I like this. I like the amount of volume I have without using uh, any type of styling tool or putting any heat on it. 
As a matter of fact, most of the ends, especially in the back, are already dry. That's one of the things I like about Wetline Extreme is my hair. It dries pretty fast when I do wash and goes with it. Um, but this looks really good. Y'all see how shiny this is? And of course, I'm a frizzy girl up top around the crown of my head. So it is frizzy, but it doesn't really bother me because I like big old hair. But yeah, so this is it. I paired the Wetline Extreme Gel with um, the main choice accomplished triple layer leave-in conditioner. And what I will say is I was kind of scared that this stuff was going to um, flake because it was like leaving like white residue in my hair. But when I look through it, where it's dry at, there's no residue. I lay my little edges down. My uh, what are these? These are maybe like prepubescent because they ain't babies. And as you guys know, your girl prematurely um has gray hair like since I was a kid. Um, and it is getting out of control. Sometimes I'm okay with it. Sometimes I just want my edge is to be black so i did use some of this um natural flaxseed edge control black it says it covers gray roots um it does a pretty decent job but i usually uh use it on top of like a gel or um, an edge a different edge control because it doesn't really hold it it covers pretty well but it doesn't hold um but Probably one of my favorite edge controls is by Michelle and Hair. Um, that's, these edges are the results of this. Yeah, so yeah, this is the wash and go. Um, if you wanna see like the completely dry results, I can post it on my Instagram. You can come visit me there. It is at Shayla Shay, that is S-H-A-L-A-S-H-A. Um, on Instagram and you can see the dried results. It's not gonna look much different. If anything, it'll be bigger and stretched out more because um, once it is completely dry, I'll use like the scrunchies or some soft bands that I have to stretch it out a bit, pick it and fluff it. It'll just be bigger, longer. Um, I am pretty happy that I could tell my hair has grown. Um, based on the way my hair looks right now um even though i shingled it is not as shrunken as it has been when i've done wash and goes in the past so all right so that's it for this video guys um i will see you in the new year with a completely different look and everything for you guys so i'm so excited to be able to share all of that with you so thank you for watching i'll see you in 2020